Hi guys and welcome to another episode of Kabir Considers. In this video we're going to react to fans that went too far. I don't know whether you guys have heard of this. I, like, I don't know if this is true or not, but I've heard it from a few people. Apparently there was a fan in Japan of David Beckham who, when David Beckham was in Japan, she broke into the hotel and she licked every toilet seat to make sure she she could lick David Beckham's. You could fact check it. I'm not sure if it's true, but if if so, that fan definitely went too far. With celebrities making a lot of money from their fame, some fans feel entitled to them thinking they're the reason for their whoa, success. Whoa, whoa, but whoa, sometimes whoa, whoa. people forget they're humans too. When Harry Styles was eating at a pizza restaurant, a couple of fans wouldn't stop screaming. So when Harry came out and they tried to make him feel bad, he was quick to make a comeback. She came all the way from Arizona just to see you tonight. You came from England, but you have money. A not so known fact is that Tom Holland has a dog named Tessa. During a press conference, a fan mentioned the name Tessa and co-star Sebastian Stan asked the fan who Tessa was. And the fan responded in an extremely rude manner. I will, thank you so much. <laughs> yes. Who's Tessa? Stop! Oh my gosh, educate yourself. Bruh, bruh. Oh my god, you just shot the winner soul. After Justin Bieber's security managed to outsmart paparazzi and fans by barely getting noticed, a lot of fans were a little disappointed, but for some it was more than enough. A completely unexpected moment for singer Katy Perry happened when she took a fan's phone to record a video, and she noticed a group text with someone saying that she can't sing live. LOL, I you can't sing live at all. Alright, let's send him a message. <laughs> this fan switched up on her idol very quickly, after he didn't give them the time of day to say hi and take pictures. Chris Brown showed his good swerving. Jeez, some people need to get a grip. Like, get a grip. You're having a breakdown because Justin Bieber didn't stop and say hi? Jeez, chill out. Feels when a fan jumped on stage to hug him. In South Korea, a crazy scary moment for Michael Jackson happened when a fan managed to get into the elevating prop on stage with him while he was performing. And on an interview after, he said he was terrified the fan was going to fall from the elevator, so had to hold all his weight. Wow, look at this. <laughs> Michael's doing him a favor there. Like, he's making sure he doesn't fall and, you know. <laughs> look at the security. <laughs> That's hilarious, the way they risk A lot of celebrities are quick to dismiss there. their fans if they're being rude, but Harry Styles showed to have patience levels unknown to humans when a fan was complaining about his face when taking a picture. <laughs> Soon after releasing the song Sugar, Adam Levine was thrown powdered sugar at him by a crazy fan on his way to Jimmy Kimmel. Luckily, police were able to grab him and he was sentenced Whoa. to three years probation, 52 counseling sessions, 20 days of highway cleanup, and must stay 500 yards away from Adam Levine. Dang. When Shawn Mendes was at the airport, he was nervous since he was close to missing his flight, and to make things worse, fans wouldn't let him go to the gate. Love you. It's actually crazy. People will, you know, take so much time out of their day to meet someone. I mean, look, fair play. You know, they're not hurting anybody. But yeah, it's it's quite interesting to see how far people will go to, um, you know, to meet someone that they really like and idolize. Guys, you guys are listening. Okay, I'm not going to be able to get home. Streaming live and walking around in public sounds like a fun concept for entertainment, but it also means that creepy fans can find precisely where you are at any time. When a man was walking alone at night streaming, he noticed someone following him. Uh oh. Uh oh, the guy's looking. Oh no! 
Dude, go inside. Go in a restaurant or something. Luckily, it was just a fan who was a little weird and wanted to meet him. You look really scary. Patrick, by the way. Uh, I'm still scared, dude. Yeah, and I'm really sweaty. This is Dennis. Yep. That was scary as hell, man. Wait. When a fan tried to jump on stage, it was too much of a path to get to Justin wow. Bieber before security. Oh, oh, and you can see the disappointment in tackled. Justin Bieber's face. Oh my god. After a fan lost her voice at the Justin Bieber concert, iHeartRadio decided to invite her and a few other lucky fans to meet Justin Bieber. And well, the fan tried to go for a kiss. A fan had plans to jump on stage to grab Britney Spears, but he wasn't going to get past this guy. Oh, wow. After Halsey had a long... It's always hilarious seeing the, the security like take down the person. <laughs> like, get over the person. <laughs> Press, she checked her fans' Instagram messages just to see a lot of people being rude to her for not going out to the hotel lobby to say hello to them. And that's when she went outside and asked them to have some empathy. Thing, but I'm getting a lot of really rude messages right now from people saying that I'm f***ed up and I swerved you and I'm being rude and I'm being mean. Like, not for nothing, but I've been impressed since 8 o'clock in the morning. I have a whole day of interviews to do, I'm still doing them. I would never just walk by you and not meet you, so to abuse me like that online is kind of f***ed up. After replacing Kanye West as a headliner for a festival in Miami, Kid Cudi was set to perform in front of thousands of upset Kanye fans. And some fans took it incredibly far by throwing water packets at him, causing him to Whoa. leave. Nah, that's disrespectful. It's not Cuddy's fault that he is replacing Kanye. Like, to throw stuff at him? Come on. That's way too far. Oh! When a fan went a little overboard and decided to turn her room into basically a Justin Bieber shrine, it went so viral that Ellen decided to make her dream come true. Even though what this fan did was wrong, he took a massive chance by jumping on the pitch for a chance to meet his idol Messi. And well, Messi saw that it took courage and signed his shirt. During a press conference at Comic-Con, Marvel fans became very comfortable asking the host for exceptions and the actors for favors. Wait, can I ask the second part of that question? He didn't get answered the first part of the question. I'm wearing heels, I've been standing all day, come on, please. <laughs> that you see in yourself for all of you by the way tom can you please tell my friend lexi you love her oh, God. <laughs> i love you when a fan got a little too picky about how he wanted the picture taken uh, lana del rey just walked away oh dude why did you do that <sighs> at a fan event a super k-pop fan thought that her idol frowned at her so she threw all her stuff on the table Jeez, man. A lot of these super fans are definitely a little bit unstable, aren't they? Like, not quite all there upstairs. And well, later it was explained that the K-pop idol just had something on his eye. Just because she Lil Baby is a rapper with a net worth of approximately $10 million. So when a fan was trying to give him a $20 bill, he was offended. Why Even though it's difficult to, to think money? this is a fan, he did pay money to see the concert, but for some reason he wasn't happy with MGK and kept flipping his middle finger at him. Bad Bunny is the most streamed artist on Spotify, so that comes with a lot of super fans. When a girl hopped on stage to dance with Bad Bunny, surprisingly he went along with it until security took her out. In probably one of the craziest fan interactions, a fan lightly slapped her K-pop idol, and her reason for Ooh. doing it was so he can have something to remember her by. Wow. Really? When a lot of people were throwing gifts at Rihanna on stage, she had to stop the show to explain that she loves the gifts, but doesn't want to get knocked out. I'll throw my up here. I'm leaving. I love your gifts. Just make sure they don't you know, knock one of my people out. Even though he's hated by many, Elon Musk does have a lot of fans that would do anything to meet him. 
These group of fans waited for hours at Tesla's Gigafactory in Berlin with a cutout of him. I've never, I've never done this before. This first time. Really? Yeah. I've, I've never signed a, a life-size version of me. Why are we in, in this particular location? Um, since a lot of people that ask for autographs to celebrities are doing it to resell them, we can't 100% know if this was a fan. But in New York, Ryan Gosling had to check an aggressive fan that was pushing people to get an autograph. Almost a decade ago, Beyonce was doing a performance in Brazil in a venue that had the entirety of the stage surrounded by fans, with basically no distance in between. And that's when a super fan snatched her. Luckily, the security acted quickly. Jesus, dude. Gosh, man, some people really just, like, they completely lose their minds when they come across, you know, their idol, I guess, or I don't know how you would describe it, their favorite celebrity. Like, just, they behave like, not even children, almost like just people that are like a little bit unhinged. Like, maybe it's because for me, like, there's no one particular person that would make me behave like that, so I can't really relate to that, but... Yeah, you know, like slapping your favorite celebrity because you want them to remember you, that's just weird. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.